So, over to you, Marlou van Rijn, after the T44 world record in the previous race from Sophie Kamlisch. Van Rijn, a T43 going in this women's 100 metres T44. Reigning world and Paralympic champion. So here's the field, starting off with the Bostonian from the United States. You follow the Bolt All-Stars of the Nitro Athletics, Femita Ayan Beku. Lane three, sixth in the long jump here, but bronze in the 100 metres in the last two major championships. Trinidad and Tobago's Neosha Kane. For Great Britain, means a big cheer. Silver in the 100 metres in the last Europeans. Ingrisetto, bronze in the two, Law Sugar. Lane five for Japan, bronze in the one in the two in the Asian Games three years ago, Saki Takakua. For the Netherlands, bronze in the 200 metres in Doha, the last world's floor, Young. Lane seven for Spain, bronze in the 400 metres here, London 2017, Sara Andres Barrio. And in lane eight, the reigning world and Paralympic champion, she's marvellous, she's Manu van Rijn. The Dutch female sports personality of the year twice over, and all eyes, Vanessa Lowe, on Marlou van Rijn. She has been dominating the field ever since she took up athletics, so um, this is going to be an easy one for her, at least in the heats. Sheila been watching that first heat very closely in the call room. Top three to go through, next two fastest. Kamlisch's world record does an impact on Van Rijn as they are in different categories. It'll impact on her if Kamlisch is faster than her in the final. Which Van Rijn has to get to first. So Akinbeu, Kane, Sugar, Takakua, Yon, Andres Barrier, Van Rijn. <laughs> Away first time, Van Rijn. A bit sluggish from her, she'll get into a straight shortly. Laura Sugar's got up brilliantly. So too Takakua. Here comes Van Rijn fighting to get into the top three. Kane going well for TTO. Kane wins it Van Rijn in second. 13.21. And Malu Van Rijn had to really fight for that one. Top three to go through. She put enough work in in the end. Great win, Naosha Kane. 13.21 is the season's best for her. She was sixth in the long jump here. Manu Van Rijn has been given it by a thousandth of a second. I don't think that's right. I think Kane won that clearly. Van Rijn's given it 13.21. Ayan Bayou second. That's a mistake. The uh, live results have had a, a little glitch because Naosha Kane won that, definitely ahead of Marlou Van Rijn. We had this in the Diamond League last week where there was uh, a real mix-up in Lausanne. Laura Sugar currently being given third, but it was Kane who won that, Van Rijn in second place. So ignoring the live results, assess that for us, Vanessa. I believe Malou is going to have a great time in the final. She's now actually working with the UK coach, so she said it almost feels like a home crowd for her. Yeah, Sugar fighting very well, led for a good while, but she was up there. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe Van Rijn did nick that ahead of Kane, but Kane is not in the live results. Sugar is in third place, definitely. Van Rijn and Kane both given 13.21, both being given the same time at the moment. What a fight back that was by Van Rijn. With the naked eye, Kane looked to have nicked that. It's going to the photo, definitely. Van Rijn recovered very, very well. But Van Rijn and Kane both very strong. We are dead on the line here, hovering above it. Kane dominated that race. Van Rijn way back, came from way back. But she is an automatic qualifier anyway. Good rhythm and never panicked either. No, never does. I think she has won every single race ever since she, she took up athletics in, in 2011. Um, been dominating her field ever since, so I believe she's going to have a good time. Yeah, recovered very well in the end. Little glance up at the camera. The big screen and then the time. Same time for Van Rijn and Kane. 
and if they're not divided by thousands, it will be a dead heat. But here's Ana Felipe in the long jump and round four. Ana Felipe, one of three Portuguese in this competition. White flag given. Nothing the matter with the jump. Five oh seven was her best. Five oh nine, she's improved by two centimeters. So a new season best for her. She's in third. Erica Gomez also of Portugal. She is one place better off in the silver medal position at the moment. Not much further ahead though, but that is nice. That is nice indeed by Gomez. The white flag is given. She knows it's up there, thereabouts from her previous jump of 5-1-9. Has to be knocking on the door somewhat. Must be only centimetres in that one. Either side of her previous jump. There you have it, eight, but on the wrong side. So she stays second with 5.19, her best. F34 shot for Kornovas of Poland. He's second at present, that's over eight metres. He was bronze at this event two years ago. He won silver at the Paralympics and gold in the European Championships. 8.22, that will be silver, so a new season. Best does improve. And there is the final result in the men's shot put F34 category. Zhu Liwan of China, a season best. Retaining the title, 8.23. Penobus, also a season best, just one centimetre behind that it's got to hurt for Poland. In second position, and it's New Zealand who take third. It did indeed go to thousands of a second. It did indeed go to Marlu van Rijn for the Netherlands. 13.21, the same time as Neosha Kane of Trinidad and Tobago, who was given second, and Laura Sugar third for Great Britain. Marlu van Rijn, would you ever doubt the lady?